The Book of Matthew Chapter 1 The Generation of Jesus Christ Luke 3 verses 23 to 38 The Last Adam 1 The Book of the Generation of Jesus Christ, the Son of David, the Son of Abraham The Book of the Generation of Jesus This verse is similar to a verse in Genesis concerning Adam's genealogy. The First Adam Genesis 5 verse 1, KJV, this is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. The difference is that Genesis records all those who proceeded from Adam, whereas Matthew records all those that proceeded from Abraham to Christ. Jesus Christ is called the last Adam, 1 Corinthians 15 verse 45, KJV, and so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Christ, this title means the anointed one, the son of David, this is Jesus' title verifying that he was the rightful descendant to sit on David's throne as king. Psalm 132 verse 11 KJV, the Lord hath sworn in truth unto David, he will not turn from it, of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. David is mentioned first in this genealogy because the first part of the book of Matthew is about Jesus being the fulfillment of the Davidic covenant in 2 Samuel 7. The son of Abraham, this title means that Jesus was a descendant of Abraham. Abraham is listed after David because the second part of Matthew is about Jesus being the fulfillment of the Abrahamic covenant found in Genesis 15. Abraham was a type of God the Father, and his son Isaac was a type of Christ, God's son, in the story found in Genesis 22. Abraham was going to sacrifice his son on the same mountain that Jesus, the Lamb of God, would be sacrificed on. John 1 verses 29 and 36 KJV The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And looking upon Jesus as he walked, he saith, Behold the Lamb of God. Two Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judas and his brethren Abraham begot Isaac. The word begot means to have offspring. Jacob begot Judas. Judah is how his name is spelled coming from Hebrew to English, while Judas is how his name is spelled coming from Greek to English. 3 And Judas begot Phares and Zara of the Mar, and Phares begot Esram, and Esram begot Aram, 4 And Aram begot Aminadab, and Aminadab begot Nason, and Nason begot Salmon. Phares and Zara, twins born to Judah and Tamar. Genesis 38 verses 27 to 30 KJV And it came to pass in the time of her travail, that, behold, twins were in her womb. And it came to pass, when she travailed, that the one put out his hand, and the midwife took and bound upon his hand a scarlet thread, saying, This came out first. And it came to pass, as he drew back his hand, that, behold, his brother came out, and she said, How hast thou broken forth? This breach be upon thee, therefore, his name was called Phares. And afterward came out his brother, that had the scarlet thread upon his hand, and his name was called Zara. Zara's hand came out first, and the midwife put a piece of scarlet thread on it, but Phares was born first. This story has to do with the right of the firstborn. The Mar, this is Tamar who was disguised as a harlot to trick Judah into being with her to have a child. Genesis 38 verse 6 KJV and Judah took a wife for heir his firstborn, whose name was Tamar. This was because Judah had not given his youngest son to her to raise up seed unto his older brother as commanded in the law. Genesis 38 verses 1 to 30, Ruth 4 verses 1 to 5 and Mark 12 verse 19. 5 And Salmon begot Booz of Rachab, and Booz begot Obed of Ruth, and Obed begot Jesse, 6 And Jesse begot David the king, and David the king begot Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias. Booz of Rachab, this is Boaz of Rahab. Ruth 2 verse 1 KJV And Naomi had a kinsman of her husband's, a mighty man of wealth, of the family of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz. Ruth, see the book of Ruth. Her that had been the wife of Urias, this is speaking of Bathsheba. Urias is Uriah the Hittite. 2 Samuel 11 verse 3. 
There are four women listed before Mary in the lineage of Christ, and two of them were Gentiles, Ruth and Rahab. Hebrews 11 verse 31 KJV By faith the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believed not, when she had received the spies with peace. 7 And Solomon begot Roboam, and Roboam begot Abia, and Abia begot Asa, 8 And Asa begot Josaphat, and Josaphat begot Joram, and Joram begot Osias, 9 And Osias begot Jotham, and Jotham begot Achaz, and Achaz begot Ezekias, 10 And Ezekias begot Manasses, and Manasses begot Ammon, and Ammon begot Josias, 11 And Josias begot Jeconias and his brethren, about the time they were carried away to Babylon. Josias is Josiah. 2 Chronicles 34 verse 1 KJV Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned in Jerusalem one and thirty years. He was a godly king who destroyed all the high places of idol worship erected by the previous kings. He repaired the temple and reinstituted Passover. 2 Kings 23 verses 19 to 21 KJV And all the houses also of the high places that were in the cities of Samaria, which the kings of Israel had made to provoke the Lord to anger, Josiah took away, and did to them according to all the acts that he had done in Bethel. And he slew all the priests of the high places that were there upon the altars, and burned men's bones upon them, and returned to Jerusalem. And the king commanded all the people, saying, Keep the Passover unto the Lord your God, as it is written in the book of this covenant. Jeconias is also called Konia. His lineage is through David's son Solomon down to Joseph. Jeconias' lineage was cursed by God for his sin. Jeremiah 22 verses 24 to 30 KJV As I live, saith the Lord, though Konia the Son of Jehoiakim king of Judah were the signet upon my right hand, yet would I pluck thee thence, and I will give thee into the hand of them that seek thy life, and into the hand of them whose face thou fearest, even into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, and into the hand of the Chaldeans. And I will cast thee out, and thy mother that bare thee, into another country, where ye were not born, and there shall ye die. But to the land whereunto they desire to return, thither shall they not return. Is this man Konia a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out, he and his seed, and are cast into a land which they know not? O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David, and ruling any more in Judah. The times of the Gentiles begin. This started when Israel had no king ruling over them appointed by God. The people appointed Josiah's son Jehoahaz, also known as Johanan, king in 2 Kings 23 verse 30, but God didn't appoint him. Egypt's pharaoh Necho replaced him and appointed Eliakim as king whose name was changed to Jehoiakim. 2 Kings 23 verses 29 to 34 God does not count these two in this lineage because they were not the rightful appointed kings of Israel. Josiah appointed Jeconias, Konia, his grandson as king. Jeremiah 22 verse 30, KJV, Thus saith the Lord, Write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David, and ruling any more in Judah. In Luke Jesus talks about a second carrying away of the Jews into all nations, which lasts until the end of the tribulation period and the establishment of the kingdom. Luke 21 verse 24, KJV, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. 12 And after they were brought to Babylon, Jeconias begot Salathiel, and Salathiel begot Zorobabel. Both Salathiel and Zorobabel were appointed as kings, but they never ruled in Judah, as they were puppet kings ruling in captivity only. 
13 and Zorobabel begot Abiad, and Abiad begot Eliakim, and Eliakim begot Azor, 14 and Azor begot Sadak, and Sadak begot Achim, and Achim begot Eliud, 15 and Eliud begot Eliezer, and Eliezer begot Mathen, and Mathen begot Jacob, 16 and Jacob begot Joseph the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. Jacob begot Joseph the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, everyone in this lineage was begot of their father until Jesus. Jesus was not begotten of Joseph. Jesus is the only begotten Son of God, Psalm 2 verse 7 KJV, I will declare the decree, the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my Son, this day have I begotten thee. John 1 verses 14 and 18 KJV, And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. No man hath seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, He hath declared Him. John 3 verse 16 KJV, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hebrews 11 verse 17 KJV, By faith Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten Son, 1 John 4 verse 9 KJV, And this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. The lineage through David's son Nathan, down to Mary's father was not cursed, and it is found in Luke 3. 23 to 31 KJV, and Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli, which was the son of Mathat, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Melchi, which was the son of Janna, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Metathias, which was the son of Amos, which was the son of Naam, which was the son of Esli, which was the son of Nag, which was the son of Math, which was the son of Metathias, which was the son of Simei, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joanna, which was the son of Risa, which was the son of Zorobabel, which was the son of Salathiel, which was the son of Neri, which was the son of Melchi, which was the son of Adi, which was the son of Kosum, which was the son of Elmodam, which was the son of Er, which was the son of Jose, which was the son of Eliezer, which was the son of Joram, which was the son of Mathat, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Simeon, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Jonan, which was the son of Eliakim, which was the son of Malia, which was the son of Menon, which was the son of Metatha, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David. Jesus is the seed of the woman. Promised in Genesis 3 verse 15 KJV, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. In the genealogy of Adam both the births and deaths are recorded, but in the genealogy of Jesus Christ only the births are recorded. Romans 5 verse 12 KJV, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so, death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Romans 5 verse 21, KJV, That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. 14 Generations 17 So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations, and from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations, and from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. 14 generations, a king from the tribe of Judah reigned for 14 generations until King Jeconiah's curse when the southern kingdom of Judah was carried away into Babylon. The northern kingdom of Israel had been carried away captive in Assyria 70 years earlier. The birth of Jesus Christ. Luke 1 verse 26. 18 Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. On this wise, was in this way. Espoused, means to be engaged. Before they came together, she was with child before Joseph and Mary were intimate with each other in marriage. With child of the Holy Ghost, 
Jesus was conceived of the Holy Ghost supernaturally. The Holy Ghost is the third person of the Godhead slash Trinity. Romans 1 verse 20 KJV For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power in Godhead, so that they are without excuse. 1 John 5 verse 7 KJV For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. 19 Then Joseph her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. A just man, a righteous man according to the law. This is said of two other people in the Gospels, John the Baptist and Jesus. Matthew 27 verse 19 KJV When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. Mark 6 verse 20 KJV For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and an holy, and observed him, and when he heard him, he did many things, and heard him gladly. A public example means to have her stoned to death in public. Deuteronomy 22 verse 21 KJV Then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of her father's house, and the men of her city shall stone her with stones that she die, because she hath wrought folly in Israel, to play the whore in her father's house, so shalt thou put evil away from among you. Put her away means to divorce her. Leviticus 21 verse 7 KJV They shall not take a wife that is a whore, or profane, neither shall they take a woman put away from her husband, for he is holy unto his God. To give her a bill of divorcement. Privily, privately. 20 But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. The angel of the Lord, an angel slash messenger, thou son of David, a descendant of David, is of the Holy Ghost, Luke 1 verse 35 KJV, and the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee, therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. 21 And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. 22 Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, 23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is, God with us. Isaiah 7 verse 14 KJV Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign, Behold, a virgin shall conceive, and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Jesus, Jesus is Greek for Joshua, which means salvation. 24 Then Joseph being raised from sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him and took unto him his wife. 25 And knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. And knew her not. They did not consummate their marriage until after the birth of Jesus. Her firstborn son, Mary, had four other sons, and at least two daughters. Matthew 13 verses 55 to 56 KJV Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brethren, James, and Hoses, and Simon, and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Whence then hath this man all these things? Chapter 2 Born King of the Jews Luke 2 verses 1 to 21 one now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Bethlehem of Judea, this is the city of Judah near Jerusalem where David was born. Bethlehem means the house of bread. Herod the king, he was an Edomite, Idumean. He was a convert to Judaism, who married into a rich Jewish family. Wise men from the east, they were probably Jewish scholars from Babylon, as many Jews remained in Babylon after the captivity ended. Jerusalem, formerly known as Salem. Genesis 14 verse 18 KJV 
And Melchizedek king of Salem brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. Joshua 10 verse 1 KJV, Now it came to pass, when Adonis Deck king of Jerusalem had heard how Joshua had taken Ai, and had utterly destroyed it, as he had done to Jericho and her king, so he had done to Ai and her king, and how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel, and were among them. 2 Saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. Born king of the Jews, Jesus was the legal king of Israel through his mother Mary's lineage back through Nathan, whose lineage wasn't cursed because of Jeconia's sin. Luke 24 verses 23 to 31 KJV And when they found not his body, they came, saying, that they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulcher and found it even so as the women had said, but him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things, and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village, whither they went, and he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went into Tari with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread, and blessed it, and brake, and gave to them. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. His star in the east, Numbers 24, 17-19 KJV, I shall see him, but not now, I shall behold him, but not nigh, there shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Sheth. And Edom shall be a possession, Sir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city and are come to worship him, these wise men from the east knew the king of the Jews was also God as well, as they came to worship him, for God alone is to be worshipped. 3. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. 4. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. 5. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, 6. And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor, that shall rule my people, Israel. Micah 5 verse 2 In Bethlehem of Judea, Bethlehem is a half-hour walk from Jerusalem. The name means the house of bread. The chief priests, Ezra 10 verse 5 KJV, then arose Ezra, and made the chief priests, the Levites, and all Israel, to swear that they should do according to this word. And they swear. Scribes, priests who copy scripture. 1 Kings 4 verse 3 KJV. Elahoraf and Ahiah, the sons of Shisha, scribes, Jehoshaphat the son of Ahalud, the recorder. My people Israel, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Genesis 32 verse 28 KJV. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. He was the father of twelve sons, from which came the twelve tribes of Israel, also known as the children of Israel. Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6 KJV. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. 7 Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. 8 And he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. 9 When they had heard the king, they departed, and, lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. Privily, privately. 
10. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. 11. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down, and worshipped him, and when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. They were come into the house, they saw the young child, the account in Luke's gospel is of baby Jesus lying in a manger, a stall, not in a house, which was two years earlier. Luke 2 verse 7 KJV And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. 12 And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. 13 And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. The angel of the Lord, the messenger of the Lord. 14 When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. 15 And was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Hosea 11 verse 1 KJV When Israel was a child, then I loved him and called my son out of Egypt. 16 Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth, and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Herod, Herod was an Edomite, a descendant of Esau, Jacob's brother, and he was ruling as king over Judea. Jacob got Esau's birthright which caused Esau to hate Jacob and he wanted to kill him because he stole his blessing from his father. Genesis 25 verse 31 KJV And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. Jacob loved Rachel and wanted to marry her, but he was tricked by Rachel's father into marrying Leah first. Jacob's name later became Israel in Genesis 32 verse 28 KJV and he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. Herod may have thought that he was fulfilling Isaac's prophecy and having dominion over his brother. Genesis 27 verse 40 KJV And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. This was his chance to break the yoke from off his family's neck that was placed there by Jacob's trickery, and he would do it by the sword and kill this new threat to his right as Israel's king. According to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men, the wise men told Herod that it was two years ago that the star first appeared. Verses 7 and 16 above. 17 then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, 18 in Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation, and weeping, and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they are not. Jeremiah 31 verse 15 KJV Thus saith the Lord, a voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation, and bitter weeping, Rahel weeping for her children refused to be comforted for her children, because they were not. Jeremiah talks about Rachel weeping for her children, the nation of Israel, as they are taken away captive, and then they are brought back the final time in the future kingdom. Then a new covenant was made with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. No covenant was ever made with the body of Christ. Jeremiah 31 verse 31 KJV Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. In Ruth 4 verse 11 it is said that Rachel and Leah built the house of Israel, which was the house of Jacob their husband. Rachel and Leah helped make up the house of Israel. When children of Leah died, they were also children of Jacob. The children of Judah were primarily the ones killed on that day by Herod, as Bethlehem was part of the lot given to the tribe of Judah. 19 But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, 20 saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the young child's life. An angel of the Lord, 
This is not the angel of the Lord, but one of many angels that remained faithful to the Lord after Lucifer's fall. The word angel means messenger. The land of Israel, the land was given to the children of Israel by God. Genesis 35 verse 12 KJV, And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac, to thee I will give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. 21 And he arose, and took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. 22 But when he heard that Archelaus did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid to go thither, notwithstanding, being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. 23 And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene, in the room of his father, in the place of his father, the parts of Galilee, the region near the Sea of Galilee, Nazareth, from the root word Nazar, set apart, spoken by the prophets, not all things spoken by the prophets were also written down, this is one of them, he shall be called a Nazarene, there is no scripture that says this in the writings of the prophets. Chapter 3 The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Luke 3 verse 3 One in those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, two and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John the Baptist, the first person to baptize. The son of Zacharias, a priest, and Elizabeth. He was a Levite who began his ministry at 30 years of age as all Levites did. Numbers 4 colon 3 KJV From 30 years old and upward even until 50 years old, all that enter into the host to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. The wilderness of Judea, the unpopulated area given to the tribe of Judah. Repent ye, Israel needed to change their mind about continually breaking the covenant they made with God and start keeping it. The word ye is used when speaking to more than one person. The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom, which is set up after the 70th week of Daniel ends. Daniel 2 verse 44 And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. At hand, Israel could have repented and accepted Jesus as the Christ, the Son of the living God, and the kingdom would have been set up. Matthew 16 verse 16 KJV And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Remember the kingdom was to be set up immediately following the 70th week of Daniel. Both John and Jesus were preaching in the 69th week of Daniel's prophecy. 3 For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Isaiah 40 verse 3 KJV The voice of him that creeth in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Isaiah, this is Isaiah. 4 And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair, and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. 5 Then went out to him Jerusalem, and all Judea, and all the region round about Jordan, 6 And were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. His raiment of camel's hair, Matthew 11 verse 8 KJV, But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. His meat was locusts and wild honey, locusts were clean under the law. Leviticus 11 verse 22 KJV Even these of them ye may eat, the locust after his kind, and the bald locust after his kind, and the beetle after his kind, and the grasshopper after his kind. Mark 1 verse 6 KJV And John was clothed with camel's hair, and with a girdle of a skin about his loins, and he did eat locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem, and all Judea, John was a Levite, Luke 1 verses 5 to 13, who baptized with water everyone that came to him confessing their sins to prepare the way of the Lord. Luke 1 verses 5 to 13 KJV there was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, of the course of Abia, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. 
And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass, that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. This was so that they could become priests in the kingdom that was being preached by John as at hand. Exodus 19 verse 5 Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. 6 And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Before a priest could begin his ministry, he had to be washed with water. Exodus 29 verse 1 And this is the thing that thou shalt do unto them to hallow them, to minister unto me in the priest's office. For in Aaron and his sons thou shalt bring unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and shalt wash them with water. The priests would then be anointed with oil before they began their ministry, which was a type of the Holy Spirit. Exodus 29 verse 7 Then shalt thou take the anointing oil, and pour it upon his head, and anoint him. No Gentiles were ever baptized by John because Gentiles in the kingdom will be taught by Jews. Zechariah 8 verse 23 KJV Thus saith the Lord of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass, that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. 7 But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Isaiah 13 verse 13 KJV Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place, in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. Pharisees and Sadducees, they were the conservative and liberal rulers in Israel. His baptism, John alone was sent to baptize all in Israel who had repented of breaking the law of Moses. This is not our pattern after the cross. Generation of vipers, they were supposed to be in holy nation, but they were self-righteous. Contrast these leaders with Matthew 12 verse 34 KJV, O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. Matthew 23 verse 33 KJV, Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? 1 Peter 2 verse 9, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Peter was writing to believing Israel, the little flock, in 1 Peter 1 verse 1, not to the body of Christ. Jesus identifies the self-righteous in the parable of the two sons in Matthew 21 verses 28 to 45 and Luke 12 verse 32. The parable tells us that there are two groups in Israel, one who was self-righteous, like the Pharisees, the older brother, and one who later repented like the little flock, the younger brother. Luke 12 verse 32 KJV Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. The wrath to come, the time of Jacob's trouble mentioned in Jeremiah 30 verse 7 KJV, alas. For that day is great, so that none is like it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. 8. Bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance. Fruits meet for repentance, the good works that are commanded in the law. Matthew 7 verses 16 to 20 KJV Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. 
Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Matthew 21 verse 43 Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. The you mentioned in Matthew 21 verse 43 that has the kingdom taken away from them are the chief priest, Pharisees, and Sadducees. Matthew 21 verse 43 KJV Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. The nation who has the kingdom given unto them is the believing Jewish remnant, also called the little flock. Luke 12 verse 32 Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. 9 And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. 10 And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees, therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham, in 1 Peter 2 verse 5 believing Israel is called lively stones. The axe is laid unto the root of the trees. The trees represent Israelites under the law. All the Israelites, trees, that did not repent and bring forth good works, good fruits, would be cast into hell. 11 I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, 12 whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Luke 7 verse 29 And all the people that heard him, and the publicans, justified God, being baptized with the baptism of John. Baptize you with water. John's baptism of repentance for the remission of sins was with water. Mark 1 verse 4 KJV John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. With the Holy Ghost, this baptism began at Pentecost. Those who were baptized with the Holy Ghost are his wheat that will be gathered. With fire, the fire of hell for those who do not believe. The garner, the kingdom. Today we are baptized by the Holy Spirit into the body of Christ the moment we believe the gospel. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 13 KJV For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 KJV Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Luke 7 verse 30 But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. With fire, this baptism was for the Pharisees, lawyers, and anyone else in Israel who would not be baptized by John or Jesus' disciples later. They are the chaff that is burned up with unquenchable fire. Verse 12 Above Jesus' baptism Luke 3 verses 21 to 22 13 Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John, to be baptized of him. 14 But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? John wanted to be baptized by Jesus with the Holy Ghost like the others who had repented. John didn't fully understand everything. 15 And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him, suffer it, allow it. To fulfill all righteousness, John was commanded to make Christ manifest to Israel after he saw the Holy Ghost descend upon him at his baptism. That wouldn't have happened if John didn't baptize Jesus. So Jesus corrected John and he baptized Jesus. Then John saw the sign given to him. John 1 verse 33, and I knew him not. 
But he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending, and remaining on him, the same as he which baptizeth with the Holy Ghost. 16 And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and, lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and lighting upon him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, before Jesus could become Israel's high priest, he had to be washed with water. Exodus 29 verse 1 The Spirit of God, God the Holy Spirit. The third person of the Godhead slash Trinity. Acts 17 verse 29 KJV For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold, or silver, or stone, graven by art and man's device. Colossians 2 verse 9 KJV For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And lighting upon him, Jesus also had to be anointed to be Israel's high priest. This happened at his baptism when the Spirit lighted upon him. The priests had to be anointed with oil on their head. Exodus 29 verse 7 KJV Then shalt thou take the anointing oil, and pour it upon his head, and anoint him. Acts 10 verse 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. 17 And low a voice from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. A voice from heaven, the voice came from God.